good afternoon friends welcome back to the channel hitchhiking yeti here and today i'm in oakland florida and we're on the old bin laden family mansion property we are going to walk back take a look at the mansion where he used to live this was osama bin laden's brother i don't think osama bin laden ever visit here or really had any part he had they had like over 50 brothers and sisters so um I don't know how much interaction they had with one another, but we're gonna walk back and check this mansion out. And a cool piece of history about this mansion that Khalil Bin Laden and his wife and son were actually here on 9-11 when, when, the, when the World Trade Centers were attacked by Osama Bin Laden. So let's take a walk back, learn a little bit about the history of this place when it was built, and do a little exploring. Let's do this. So right here, I'm actually walking down the main driveway and just look how overgrown he is. No one's lived here in over 20 years. The Bin Laden family's been gone for that long. It's hard to believe it was that many years ago when 9-11 happened. But just to talk about the home itself, it was constructed in 1928. And uh, it, was, it was originally built as a vacation home for a man by the name of William Pratt, a New York native and chemist who helped invent Jell-O. I think that's pretty awesome. And then in the 1950s, the property was owned by Earl S. Tupper, founder of the Tupperware Company. So that's kind of cool. So they've been some uh, pretty big names that has owned this property since 1928. That is pretty wild. So. In 1980, Khalil Bin Laden, one of Osama Bin Laden's 54 siblings, purchased the home for his wife as a wedding gift through his company, Desert Bear, for $1.6 million. And right here on the, right across this fence, we have an old boat. Wonder if that was his. Looks like maybe it was a sailboat, right? I think that what that looks like. I don't know a whole lot about boats, but looks like it might have been a sailboat. Look at this tree right here. That is gorgeous. This property has actually changed hands quite a few times, even since Bin Laden uh, sold it, got rid of it. As you can imagine, he was here during the 9-11 attacks on the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. And he was he had to pretty much move his family out. You know, even though they said that he had nothing to do with it, uh, he feared for his family's life and they had to flee the United States. And it is right. Look at this beautiful lake area here, this bay. We're just walking along here and don't really know which way I'm going. This right here looks like some kind of a building or a roof. I can imagine this place has been ravaged over the years. In 20 years time, you know, a lot of storms and uh, hurricanes have hit Florida. So definitely a lot of damage. Right up here is a uh, four car garage. And just look at the moss, the trees. This is unbelievable. Let's walk up this way a little bit. Go check out the garage area. Maybe he's got a, a Mustang hot rodded up in that thing. You can hear a lot of wildlife back here. There are lizards and geico looking things everywhere. I know one thing, this place has a very creepy vibe to it. Look at that. It's like a Mediterranean style build. Look, I love those uh, those shingles up there. It's not shingles, but you know what I'm talking about, the roofing. Looks pretty awesome. Man. Them 
this is amazing look at this little awning to keep you uh keep you dry walking one one place to another look at that view is that not beautiful light fixtures And they're supposed to be a beautiful swimming pool and like a hot tub area somewhere around the property. It's a nice little patio porch area. That's very odd to have that railing up there unless they used to be an extension out and it's just not there anymore. And I have uh a feeling the swimming pool is going to be around here somewhere stay away from that moss I love seeing moss but you don't want to touch it because you'll get bugs in your hair out of that stuff and look at that little dude look at him fly they're just scammering everywhere just keep my eyes peeled for other things like snakes this is Florida this is like a swimming pool hose some type this is amazing and here is the pool wow look at this place and here's the swimming pool and I noticed somebody has actually been here and put a fence up to keep people visitors out <laughs> holy crap so I'm gonna I'm gonna think go out on a I guess here and I bet the uh, the hot tub used to be right here in this area right got these big double doors right here you got your grill over here and then right here you would have your hot tub your swimming pool with the diving board and you ha have this amazing view you're on like a little peninsula as you can see right here yeah this is awesome unbelievable you got this like screened in porch area all the doors are uh, pretty much look that it looks like they're locked that in there ain't locked you can actually probably go in but I'm gonna kind of stay on the outside I don't know what's inside I don't know there's no po there's no signage or anything you know I just came here and I'm just looking around and uh, I just wanted to see it before they you know trash it or whatever is gonna happen I love abandoned places but you don't get to see a whole lot of them or at least I don't and this is uh, definitely one for the books the Bin Laden family home. I seen some pictures at one time. They was a uh, like a cannon. I think it was right down there in that area. I do not see it down there at this time, but maybe somebody had had removed it. It was just a decorative piece. But this is actually a really a beautiful place if you just look. At this peninsula this property sets on and it wraps around both sides got these beautiful lily pads right over here great fishing spot i bet <laughs> but uh holy moly this is awesome all right all right now i've just kind of circled from the swimming pool area and i'm just coming around here and check things out a little bit on this side they've I don't know what kind of bug that was. You kind of see a, you have some bathrooms in here. This was just wide open. No door, no nothing. Check this out. Look at this staircase. Look at these rooms.
and all this tile work that they had. Here would be the kitchen. And sink area. And they have another grill. Place where you can do a little cooking. And this must have been like a, looks like something out of Scarface, this little thing here he would have. I don't know if that was like a fountain or what it was, but look at this, like a foyer right here. Look at the ceilings, how big that was. That is unreal. All these wooden floors, fixtures. All right, friends. That's pretty much what I wanted to do today. I just wanted to come back here and check out this property. Just give it a one look over before it is possibly destroyed. This is one wild experience to see this in, perps in person. I mean, this is just unbelievable. All right. That will pretty much do it for us today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it's a little bit different than my normal vlogs. But yeah, I had to come see this and I did it. Until next time, I'm the Hitchhiking Yeti. And I will see you friends in the next video. Y'all stay safe.